Squawberry. How to make a chocolate covered cherry. Ta da! This is, um, kind of different. Alright, I don't know why anybody would want to make one that actually has filling in it where you can't see it, but I keep getting questions about it, so I'll show you how I would do it if I were going to do it. Let's pretend that this is a chocolate covered cherry. What you do is you start with a little bead, a little bit smaller than you actually want your chocolate covered cherry. Then you take your little piece of clay, your little brown chocolate, milk chocolate, mmm, yummy, yummy. And, I'm, I'm, I'm moving around here, you take that and you cover the little bead, come back here, <coughs> excuse him. So you cover the bead, you want the bead to be sticking out towards the bottom, and this is a lot bigger than the small one I made when I had lots of time. Alright, but anyway, so you do like that. And then you can see the bead on the bottom, which is fine. Then you take your blow dryer and you harden it. So, once you harden this little sucker, I mean this little puppy, then you take a toothpick or something and get that little bead out. And because it is a bead, it should have a little hole, so you might even be able to get a hold of it and pull it out. But just get it out, whatever you do. Take that out. Now you have the top of your chocolate, and it's hard. And you would take some triple thick glaze, triple thick, you know that one, and drizzle it inside just a wee little bit. There. There's your gooey stuff. And then you would take a cherry red seed bead. Look, there's your cherry. And I know it's too small for this one because, well, just this is. is popcorn. Made my chocolate too big. But anyway, there is your cherry inside Mom, there. I need, Mom, I need some yellow. Yellow? Okay. There you go. Yeah. There's all the yellow, sweet. I know. And then I would let this um, dry completely. Yellow. Dry. And um, if you're never going to see the cherry, I guess it wouldn't, I don't know why you'd even mess with it, but some people want to know. So Anyway, you take another little piece of clay after it's all dry, and you make a little circle, and you would put that on top, and then you would blend it on the edges. Oops, let me see, show you here. Anyway, you'd take your time. Your fingers are going to be the very best blender. And if you have a little crack, then fill it. Use the other clay to fill it. Anyway, so then you would have a chocolate-covered cherry um, filled. To make the chocolate-covered cherry where it's open, where did I put it? I have a little, here's a little ball of chocolate that I slightly hardened. By slightly, I mean I ran the heater over it just so it would hold its shape a tiny bit, but it probably won't crack too much. Yeah, there, it's holding its shape and not cracking. So you take your little guy, take your cherry, and you can open it up here, and the inside is not um, hardened at all. I'm looking for a tool, hold on. Oh, here we go. Now I have my little, uh, rounded tip tool that has a rounded tip believe it or not it's very 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 tiny and I want to put it in there and that's going to be too small so be good to me so, oh here you can't see what I'm doing take this tool and make your little hole and you do that on both sides. Oh, roll over, roll over. There we go. Now take your triple thick. And stick it in there. I'm almost done now. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, okay. Uh, mine is almost. And here I'm squishing my other one to get my cherry back. <laughs> I'm taking my dental tool. Give me my seed bead. So then I put my seed bead in. That is the correct size. You would put that in there. 
once that dries and make sure your seed bead the hole is sideways so you can't see the hole as easy oh I really need smaller fingers maybe I could help oh you could help that would be very nice thank you Did I have so more? there down boy down boy. okay fine ah! there would be your popped open oh my goodness what? Will you get off of there? Off. Off, I say. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. There you go. Alright, so there's your chocolate-covered cherry. You can see the triple thick oozing out, and it's all nice and shiny. And there's your teeny tiny little shiny seed bead um, right there, and this is the one that I didn't like. I'm just going to toss that one. And uh, here's the other half of your little cherry. And you can do the same thing, and except... Um, Remember, there's only one cherry in there, so only one side would have the cherry. And then, I dropped my, after this dries some, my popcorn. I'll get it for you in just a second. After this dries a little bit, I would put some triple thick on top of it to um, make it stick to the plate or whatever you have it sticking to. Anyway, um, that's all there is to the chocolate covered cherry. Okay, first you. Well, a big ball of yellow you can see, and you make two, get lots of clay and all them in a ball like these, and then put them in a ball like this. So you can see they're very easy to come uh, out, but it's good for your dollhouse. They can be watching a movie, eating popcorn. So that's that's all that you do to buy. To making popcorn out of clay. They look like they look just like this. You can of course see they look just like this. They should. I'm done.